What are like three things that people can do? Because I think this is an important to question to answer. <laughs> Number one, go to therapy. Know yourself. What? Okay. Why? 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 <laughs> go to therapy. Like I think going to therapy and learning more about what irritates you, what you value, what you like, what you don't like, how to talk to people, mm. blind spots. Your to, biases. Yeah, your biases, all those things to talk to someone that's not your friend. Mm. And your therapist is not your friend, even though they're friendly. I they're think not your friend. Someone that can just straight up tell you, like, have you thought about this? Or you're kind of being a dick here. Or, like, why do you do things like this? And They're a neutral third party. Exactly. For you to really learn about yourself. Or get an esports psychologist so you can be honest about your game and your approach and what you like and your values in it. Well, that's something that you had to do during graduate school, right? Like, you had to get X amount of hours being seen by a therapist. Yep. Yeah, so that's something that they also emphasize to you during graduate school. It's good. Everyone to be a therapy. therapist, you need to go to therapy yourself, experience it yep. on that side, and also just creating that identity and knowing about yourself. Okay, so that's one thing that somebody that wants to be a psychologist or esports psychologist can do. Go to therapy. Go to okay. therapy. What next? Because you've been getting messages on LinkedIn now, now that you've kind of gotten more exposure, you've kind of established a name for yourself. There's lots of people out there that want to get into this field and do what you do. What are some other things that they can do? Another thing to think about is why do you want to mm. do it? I think that's really important. Like, why do you want to work in esports? Do you think I want to help somebody? I think the real thing to think about is like, how do you want to help somebody? Because there's a lot of ways that you can help people or pe that people think is helpful. And so why esports? Where do you want to go? Where's your drive? What values do you have in esports or being a helper in esports and, mm -hmm. and then going from there? Because so many students I used to work with that want to go in pre-men. And so what they used to take the weirder classes of chem and bio and they just fail or get not their usual A. What is it? Oh, chem? <laughs> Yeah. The killer. The killer, right? And then the, what, could, the class that weeds out everybody. Or like biochem or some shit like that, right? Like I'm crying to my office like, Ryan, Ryan, I like I, I wanted to be a doctor. Like I want to help people. I want to be a doctor since I was three. I'm like, why? Mm. And they look at me like, because I wanted to, or that's what I was supposed to do. And I was like, but you don't have to. You, there's a lot of things you can do in the medical field, not just being a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Mm. And oftentimes it was like, oh, my mom, my dad thought I wanted to be a doctor. Or like, oh, I wanted to do this because of, you it know, comes, it was like, cool. This is, or uh, there's a certain level it. of notoriety with this Yeah, and so I think like, title. thinking about why you want to be in esports in a helping field. And what do you hope to get out of the experience? Or where do you think it's going to go? And having that that general idea of what you think is valuable and why you want to do it, I think is really, really important. Maybe the third thing, this is going to sound kind of sad. I think the third thing is you're going to hear a lot of no's mm -hmm. and you're going to hear a lot of, we don't want to work with you's or yeah, we, we want to work with you, but we want to do it in this way. And it's understanding that it may not be exactly what you think it is. And it may take a lot more work than you think it's going to take. But at the same time, if this is something that you're really interested in, something that I really want to do, you're going to have to really advocate for yourself, advocate for what you can do, advocate for the changes you can, mm -hmm. you can create and you have to do it. 